sales of a product can be modeled by a function s is equal to a log base 10 of x plus 1 plus b where s is the sales and x is the number of days from for which the product has been available so there is a product which is in market and uh, the sales of that product can be modeled by a log function so this is the information that we have on the fifth day the sales was 525 and on the 25th day the sale was one, sales was 1110 what level of sales is predicted by the model on the 60th day give you answer in three significant figures here you can see that these sales are in three significant figures and draw a graph for the function for the first 100 days not uh, not 41 days i don't know where i got this 41 for the first 100 days okay so let's write the function the function is s is equal to a times or a log base 10 of x plus 1 plus b so we've got two information two sets of information from that we can find out a and b so what is given when x is phi when the number of days is phi the number of sales is 525 so in other words s is 525 so the second piece of information is when x is 25 so on the 25th day the product was available the sales was 1110 so let us put this into this equation and see what happens okay so what happens is we're going to put this here so 525 S is 525 is a log uh, 5 plus 1 is 6 log 6 plus b okay so this implies so if you want to write I'm going to write this as a log 6 a log 6 is 525 minus b 525 minus b okay now if you substitute this into this equation, this would be 1110 is equal to A log 26 plus B. Okay, again, I want to make this the subject. So this implies A log 26 is 1110 minus B. So these are two equations. So this is equation two and say this is equation number one. So I'm going to divide. I want to eliminate A. So I'm going to divide two by one. So I'm going to write like this. Equation two divided by equation one. So this is equation two and this is equation one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the left-hand side of two by the left-hand side of one. So I can write like this a log 26 divided by a log 6 is equal to and divide the right hand side of 1 by the right right hand side of 2 by the right hand side of 1 so this is 1110 minus b over 525 minus b so now uh, you can cancel this A's, so this A's and A's gets cancelled. So this is log 26 divided by log 6 is equal to uh, 1110 minus B divided by 525 minus B. 525, not 525. 525 minus b so i need my calculator out to compute this value so this is my calculator so this is log of 26 divided by log of 6 oops log of 26 divided by log of 6 which is 1.8 uh, let me round this to 1.82. Okay, so this is 1.82. I'm going to cross multiply. 
I hope you can understand this. We can cross multiply to 525 minus B is equal to 1110 minus B. So expanding this, so this is 1.82 times 525 525 525 minus 1.82 B is equal to 1110 minus B. So let me bring the B's together. So I'm going to move this to this side. I'm going to move this to this side. So let me get my calculator 1.82 times 525. So 1.82 times 525 gives me 955.5 so let me write one more step 955 I keep forgetting 955.5 yeah 955.5 uh, minus 1110 is equal to 1.82 B minus b. I hope you can see the simple manipulation. So again, let me get my calculator. This is 955, uh, 955.5 uh, minus 1110 is minus 154.5. This is, let me change color, minus 154.5 is equal to this is 1B, so 1.82B take away 1B is 0.82B. So now dividing both sides by 0.82, I can write minus 154.5 divided by 0 0.82, 0 0.82 will give me B. Now B is a negative value, so let me get my calculator out. So this is, so I'll go divided by, uh, answer divided by 0 0.82. Uh, the answer is minus 188.4. So B is minus 188.4. Uh, minus 188.4 minus 188.4. I hope, I think we have done, uh, because of rounding, the answer is slightly different than what I expected. Uh, we should have taken the whole number, doesn't matter. So this is, hopefully I've not done any silly mistakes in computing. So B is 188.4. The answer I expected was 189.8. Okay, it is because of rounding. Okay, doesn't matter. So this is your B. So let us substitute. So let us go back. So what's the equation that we have? Okay, so let me do the work in here. It's 188.4 minus 188.4. So where is the equation? So we have got, um, we, we can use this equation. So let us use, let me show the working here. 525 is equal to a log 6, a log 6 minus b is how much? 188.4 minus 188.4. Now adding 188.4 on both sides, this is 525 plus 188.4 divided by log 6, I hope you can see the divide by log 6 will give you A. So let me use calculator again. So this is, uh, I'll put this in the bracket, 525 plus 188.4 divided by log 6. It should give me give the answer, 916.8. So this is 916.8. So the A is 916.8.
8 is a. So the equation becomes S is equal to 916.A 8 log x plus 1 minus 188.4 one minus 188.4 so this is the equation so this is the equation uh, modeling this sales of this product so let us use now our graph to calculate this okay so so get our let us get our calculator out so go to menu go to graph and type in 916 Point eight log x plus one minus one eighty eight point four. Now we need to change the scale. I'll go to scale. I'll go from zero to hundred. Uh, scale of five would do, and I know my sales is going to go to about say two thousand in hundred days. Okay, maximum scale of 100 and see what the graph looks like. So this is your graph. Can you see? And the question is, what's the sale on the 60th day? So you can go GSOL and Y calc. You can also do it algebraically. You put 60 in this and you get the answer. So put 60 here. So it is 1,448. So this is rounding this to the in three significant figures it is 1450 okay rounding this to the so yeah the answer is in three significant figures it's 1450 uh, to be sold on the 60th day okay so yeah i've drawn the graph uh, i have done uh, plotted so on the 60th day it is 1450 on on the hundred this is the hundredth day so let me cancel this this would be the hundredth day on the hundredth day so I'll show this on a calculator on the hundredth day you can have 1650 so this is G sol and you go y calc when x is hundred rounding to this to three significant figures is 1650. So this is a graph. So this is on x axis I have taken the number of days, on the y axis I have taken the sales. So on the fifth day you got 525, 25th day 1110, 60th day is 1450 and so on. So this is this graph is the graph of S is equal to uh, what was the equation 900 and whatever that equation so that is this graph is the graph of this function 916.8 log x plus 1 minus 188.4